alcohol poisoning, how to avoid it and how to cure it. If you are struggling right now or there's a friend who's struggling and you suspect it's alcohol poisoning, we're going to talk about how you should handle it and how to avoid it in the future. But first, you may want to get my free book, The 30 Day No Alcohol Challenge, How to Reduce or Quit Alcohol. There's a little link down in the About section and just here. It's completely free. Uh, you might just want to reduce or quit alcohol ongoing if you're watching this. So. Uh, I suffered alcohol poisoning back in 1999. Uh, I was in Jamaica. I was at, uh, no I wasn't, I was in Trinidad and Tobago, sorry, the uh, port of Spain. And I was watching cricket between Australia and the West Indies and I was drinking in the sun all day. And at night time, I started to get really cold and I started to shiver and I started to hallucinate. And my friends found me lying on my back in this hotel room that we were staying in. And I was, <gasps> and I was delirious. I wasn't making sense. And they quickly uh, grabbed a doctor uh, who said we need to take him to hospital. And I went off to this hospital in uh, the port of Spain, where some big, big fat woman <laughs> sort of injected me in my in my ass cheek uh, with something. I still don't know what it was. And they put me on a drip, and they started giving me water or fluids rather, and I slowly came back to life. Uh, pretty scary pretty horrific. The next day I didn't drink alcohol, even though all my friends were drinking alcohol again in the sun watching the sport, but it's pretty nasty. Uh, and if you suspect that you have alcohol poisoning or a friend has it and they're hallucinating, they're going crazy, please call a doctor, please call a medical professional, obviously. A lot of people, however, think they have alcohol poisoning, but really they're just really hung over or they're vomiting and they're sweating. And so, Let's just quickly go through the ways to avoid it and then we're going to deal with what you should do. So avoiding it simply is if you're going to drink a lot, drink a lot of water. You've got to hydrate yourself. What I like to do is for every alcoholic drink I have, I drink a glass of water. Um, try not to chug drinks or like, um, you know, skull. When I played rugby for Los Angeles Rugby Club, uh, if I was unfortunate enough to win the most valuable player, my reward was back in the bar after the game they would make you go chug, 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 and I'd have to like drink a whole big pitcher of Budweiser. And then later on, you know, about an hour later, I was vomiting in the, in the gutter while they were all laughing. And that's not much fun, I've got to tell you. So avoid chugging. Um, you could always pick drinks with low alcohol as well. Like if you know you're going to be drinking a lot in the sun or at a party, drink a mid-strength beer or, um, you know, something with, a, with uh, less of an alcoholic content into it. Um, stick to a drinking plan, you know, just know in your head how many you're going to drink or how many you want to drink that night so you don't get into the point where you're drinking too much to get alcohol poisoning in the first place. Make some drinks non-alcoholic. It's pretty simple. You don't have to drink Bloody Marys, right? You can drink Virgin Marys. Tastes kind of similar, you just have it without the, the vodka. You can drink non-alcoholic beers if you really want the taste. Uh, and also don't drink on an empty stomach. That's the worst thing. Like make sure you, you've eaten some foods before you know you're going to be drinking excessively. So there's some tips on how to avoid getting alcohol uh, poisoning. Um, again, you might want to check out my book, The 30 Day No Alcohol Challenge, How to Reduce or Quit uh, Drinking uh, is the name of the book. There's a link in the about section. Now, if you f suspect you have alcohol poisoning or a friend has, then uh, here are some of the symptoms. You might be like breathing heavily. You might be hallucinating. Um, you're sweating, you've got the shivers. Again, go and see a doctor, but if you're just really hung over, here are some ways that you can, you can fix this, okay? Drink lots of water, lots of water, okay? Because when you have alcohol poisoning or you're, or you're suffering from the effects of alcohol, you're dehydrated and your body is inflamed. I know it sounds obvious, but drink lots of water. Do not drink coffee, do not, in fact, I've got a list prepared here of, of what you should do, um, which I prepared before I, I hit record on this. Um, do not go and have a greasy breakfast. Do not drink coffee. Coffee is a diuretic and so it dehydrates you even more. You want to drink lots of water, okay? So if you're going to make yourself uh, a hangover drink, what you want to say yes to is anything that has coconut water, blueberries, spinach, ginger, mint, chia seeds, and a little bit of salt. If you put all that together into a smoothie, man, that is going to taste good, plus it's going to uh, reduce the inflammation that's going on in your body. Not only are you dehydrated, but you've got inflammation. These ingredients here are all anti-inflammatory. So they reduce, they naturally reduce the inflammation that's going on in your body. What most people think they should do to get over being hung over is have a greasy breakfast, have a coffee and drink you know, sugary waters like Gatorade. The problem with Gatorade is that it's got a lot of sugar in it and it's not good for you. Coffee is a diuretic and it will uh, um, 
make you even more uh, dehydrated. And a greasy breakfast, that means the body is now having to work hard to break down all those nasty fats and carbs and everything when you really want the body to be restoring itself from the alcohol that you've been feeding it. So again, avoid the greasy breakfast, avoid the coffee, avoid the Gatorade, get lots and lots of water into yourself, okay? Coconut water, blueberries, spinach, ginger, mint, chia seeds and salt. A little bit of salt just for flavor, you don't need the salt, but this stuff here will um, really start to uh, bring your body back to life, okay? Um, if you're really in a lot of trouble, and you don't lie on your back, it's better to kind of lie on your forward, um, lie on your, um, your side rather. If you're with someone now who you think has alcoholic poisoning, put them on their side. The reason is, is if they're on their back and they're like struggling, they might vomit and they might choke on their own vomit. I mean, that's an extreme case, but so that you avoid that, put them on their side. Um, but mostly just, you know, in future, if you're watching this for future drinking, don't go and drink so hard. You know, I, I was a social drinker, I drank, for a few, uh, sorry, a few times during the week and during the weekends I'd go out and I'd be a binge drinker. I'd drink heavily and some weekends I'd get drunk and some weekends I'd, I'd throw up. Uh, I took a 30 day break from alcohol back in 2010 just because I was sick and tired of being hung over and at the end of 30 days I lost 30 pounds, uh, sorry, 13 pounds I should say, 30 pounds, that'd be miraculous. Uh, my skin got better, I slept better, I started to get more energy and focus and clarity. And I've, I felt so good, I just kept going. I haven't touched a drop of alcohol since. Um, so I haven't drunk alcohol since 2010 and my life is just so much better and more energetic and, and better relationships because of it. So again, if you wanna just get my free book, it's called The 30 Day No Alcohol Challenge, How to Reduce or Quit Alcohol. Click the link in the bio below or click the little link that I've got here uh, and try to avoid alcohol poisoning in the future. All right, I hope this helped and I'll catch you on the next one.